I want to tell you guys a story about my most painful and embarrassing jujitsu experience. But before I tell you the story, I need to tell you guys two things. One, two weeks before this happened, I had just got my red peas for my driving license. That means I just got off my L's and I can finally drive by myself. And yes, that does mean I did get my red peas when I was about 23, 24, because I did not get my L's until I was early 20s. And the second thing you should know is I just joined a brand new gym. So the thing is, because I didn't have my license, I couldn't join a jiu-jitsu gym that was far away. Everything had to be walking distance or within a bus ride. Whereas this one was about 15 minutes drive away and I was so excited to finally join this gym because I loved it. I've known it for a while, I've been there before and I could finally get experience to go there. Oh, and the third thing you should probably know is because I recently went through a breakup, I had to leave one gym and find a new one. So this was going to be my brand new home of a jiu-jitsu gym. So I rock up at this gym. I'm very excited. This is about my third session. I've just signed up. I said I'm going to commit. We're on the mat rolling. So because I'm brand new, I'm one of the first females there. There's about... 80, 90 men um, that do, they go to the gym and there's a couple of females, not, not 80, 90 people in one class, but I mean throughout the whole club. So I'm there, I'm very excited, I'm brand new, I'm rolling with everyone. So when you're brand new to a jiu-jitsu gym, you don't know what people are like, they don't know what you're like, you're trying to figure them out, they're trying to figure you out, and everyone is so friendly. So I, I finally get to roll with this one guy. He rocks in, he is a pretty big dude, I'm guessing 100, 120 kilograms. He's an Irish fella. He has ginger hair, the full beard, the awesome tattoos, the accents that you want to listen to all day. He seems like a really cool dude. So I'm rolling with him. He's a pretty big, thick guy. And I'm trying to like figure him out. We're trying to roll. I was a bluebird at the time, a bit clumsy. I took a little bit of time off because I haven't been able to get to a juicy gym. I'm pretty excited, lots of adrenaline. And we're rolling. Next minute, he's in a it's so like he's turned towards me. I've got a bit of side control and I've got my hand rested behind his back. Next minute, all of a sudden, he rolls onto his back. All I hear is pop, 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 and my thumb is dislocated. It was so loud. Everyone in the room stops. And this is a pretty big place. This is the middle of summer. There's fans going. It was loud. Now, the thing is, there was three pops. It popped out, it did something weird, and thank God it popped back in. Because if I had to go to the hospital and get them to pop it back in, I do not know how I would have handled that. So the thing is, because there was so much adrenaline, and I was so excited, and I was in a new place, and I wanted to act cool, I heard it, and I was like, that really fucking hurt. But I was like, it's cool. So he stopped automatically. He's like, are you okay? Like, what happened? My The jiu-jitsu coach at the corner was just like, Tia, are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I looked at my thumb, and I was like, moving it around i'm like it can move it's not dislocated it's okay like we're fine let's keep going slap hands fist bump we're going back to rolling about 20 seconds later i'm like fuck my thumb is in so much pain what is going on i look at my hand it is massive it is bright purple and i'm like oh my god so one other thing you should know about me is i am a massive fainter I can deal with like certain pain, but if I see blood, if I see a needle, if I'm injured bad, I collapse. So at that moment, I looked at my hand and I was went dizzy, I went nauseous, and I was like, fuck. But then the other half of me, the tough girl half of me, was like, okay, Tia, you're in a new gym, you need to be cool, you can't show these guys that you're a pussy, you need to be brave, you're in a male dominant sport, you've got this. So I like to say, coach, I'm going to sit out. My thumb is a bit sore. I'll put an ice pack on it. So I put an ice pack on it. Everyone's rolling. And then I'm just like laying in the corner. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna either pass out or throw up. So I just like act as if I'm really exhausted and tired. So I've got the ice pack on my hand. And I just lay down. Pull my feet up against the wall. Take a deep breath. Usually if I elevate my feet, I can stop myself from passing out. So I've got my feet up. I'm just trying to breathe through it. And I'm just getting dizzy out of the pain. My hand is throbbing. I've never dislocated something like that before. So I've never felt such isolated pain. I'm trying to be tough. Everyone stops the roll. Everyone's just, we finish the session. We go around, we fist bump. I'm doing it left-handed because my right hand is in so much pain. And we go around the circle. And then everyone's, everyone's just like hanging out, stretching and talking. Usually I'll hang out and stretch and talk to people since I've been new. But I'm like, I'm just going to go to the bathroom, you know, just just uh, hang out. I'll be back. 
and because usually when I'm like when I hurt myself I either throw up or I faint and I don't really know which one it's going to be but usually if I can throw up I don't faint. As soon as I walk into the bathroom I lock the door I go straight to the toilet and just throw up. I was so ill because I was in agony and the thing is as soon as I finished throwing up I passed out in the bathroom of a brand new jiu-jitsu gym. So I was in there for about, I don't know, two to five minutes. One of the worst parts is this is in a gym. Only had one bathroom that was also the shower. So I was also holding everyone up that had to get ready for work because it was in the middle of the day. And come back out, the coach is like, are you cool again? I'm like, I'm fine. I'm gonna, like, do you want us to take the hospital or something? Probably should have went to the hospital. And I was like, oh, I'm fine. I'm just gonna like chill, breathe. I hung out for a little bit and then just waited for the inflammation to go down, down so I could kind of feel as if I wasn't going to pass out. So I acted tough and brave. So these guys did not know how much pain I was in. Now, coming back to that point I made before, is I just got my P's. Now, not only was I not the best driver two-handed, I had to now drive home about 15 minutes in a route that I wasn't really sure of, following the GPS with my right hand babying to my side because I had so much pain, and using my left hand to steer around bends and corners. So I'm on my way home, on my phone to my sister, saying like, oh my god, I injured myself, I'm in so much pain, I do not know if I should go to hospital, it is fat, it is throbbing. So I'm driving home left-handed like a spastic, I didn't even want to grab it to like hook the blinkers, I'm like merging in front of people when I probably should not, or should I use the blinker just because I'm out of it, need to go home and lay down. Finally get home alive, did not die. Got home, realized it's throwing, put an ice pack on it, then end up having to go to a chemist and get a full splint. It took months until it felt good. Now, I thought, yeah, it's fine. It had a, has a little bit of like loose movement in compared to the other one. I don't know if you can see this, but this thumb doesn't move very much. This one kind of has a bit more movement in the joint still it has been about three two and a half three years and it still has that that's a pretty embarrassingly painful story but what happened next was after it got better every couple months i'll be randomly doing something and i would dislocate it again so now i have a thumb that likes to dislocate for fun because i never actually got the ligaments and the tendons whatever the hell that one is the ligaments to set properly that now i can uh, be pulling up my active wear tights and get it caught and here like fully pop and in some reason it's like pops out and in so it must be enough that it wants to like push it back in but my god that one experience has caused years of niggling pain on one little joint so yeah that's my embarrassing first experience at this new jiu-jitsu gym so if any of you guys have any stories that top that one please let me know in the comments below uh in the meantime keeping strong happy and healthy